Hi guys, welcome to the channel and kaboom! Yes, welcome to my base review series. This is where we find some of the best bases, guys. We test them out in the Legend League, review them, and then we give them a score out of 10. And today's base is a rather interesting one. It performed very strangely in the Legend League. That's all I'm going to tell you. We're going to check out some awesome replays in a moment. First of all, though, guys, do remember, use code MOOSE if you want to support this channel in-game. Go to settings, more settings, support a creator, and enter code MOOSE. Yes, guys, so here's the base we're going to be looking at today. And like I said, it's a very strange looking base, but is it any good? In just a moment, then we're going to check out some awesome Legend League replays. So you can actually see the base in action, see how it performs. If you are impressed, if you do want to download and try this base yourself, it is easy. Just head on over to the video description, say some MOOSE sent you. Click on that base layout link and kaboom! The base will appear on your device just like that and guys do remember if you do want to see the latest and greatest base designs reviews and clash of clans guides make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and join the samus army yes also guys do remember on this channel it's something called channel memberships is where you can officially help support the channel in return you'll get behind the scenes access to all things regarding the channel an awesome badge next to your name and at least once a month a custom professionally built base from the guys over at clash champs all the information about that is in the video description anyway enough of me talking let's check out my legend league defense log then watch some awesome replays let's go so here's my legend league defense log for the base guys we're gonna scroll through so you can check out all the defenses and see how the base did guys look at all these one star attacks at the beginning then we had a couple of higher percentage attacks it's been very interesting so we used this base for three days in the legend league there were 24 attacks against the base of those 24 attacks five were one star 17 were two star and two were three star attacks so definitely sort of a mixed performance but i'm still quite happy with how the base performed here's our first replay then what do we got four wizards four healers four peckers two electro dragons eight bowlers all the heroes max level and some bat spells i like these compartments with the inferno towers in scatter shots yeah the base looks pleasing to the eye it's got that nasty wall segment by the town hall and guys what are you noticing at the moment i'm noticing that loads of bases are struggling it just seems like at the moment it's easier to get those two and three star attacks in the legend league anyway what's going on here it's a funnel, guys. Yes, Electro Dragon on the left. And on the right, that's funnel time. In the middle, the Peckers are there. There's the Wall Wrecker and the Heroes. Everybody is moving towards the base. Are they going to support that Wall Wrecker? Can that Wall Wrecker make it across the base to the Town Hall? It's a long way to go, guys. I'm not going to tell you, but it is going to be difficult. So, uh, Bowlers are there supporting the Wall Wrecker. It looks like the Bowlers are actually trying to destroy their own Wall Wrecker. The Wall Wrecker is at 50% health, now 33%. Oh no, it's been Infernoed by Ian the Inferno there. And yes, all of the defences on my base, guys, they do have names. Uh, they're part of the team. And that, that uh, Wall Wrecker, yeah. Ian the Inferno was not letting go of that Wall Wrecker. And there's a Rage spell just, just out of range of poor Ian there. He's doing a great job. And uh, doesn't look like, is anybody going to be able to make it to that town? All the bats are coming in now. Can they take out that scatter shot? That was a well placed free spell. The scatter shot is going. Yes, been taken out. There is a wizard tower there, but the uh, king has taken that out. And now, if anybody can get to that town hall, there's a chance of three stars here, but I don't think. There's going to be enough firepower to get there. There's a couple of peckers sort of going for a little wander over there. They've got one healer, but they have been infernoed. And there's just three bats left. Two, one. All the bats have gone. There's a wizard and an archer over there, but surely they can't do enough to three-star this base. My royal champion's there still as well, but there's still one minute, ten, nine, eight. Loads of time left, guys. What's going to happen here? Are some mystery troops going to come out of the forest? No. It's just this wizard making us wait so we're going to fast forward it times four because we can guys we can we can't do that in real life but we can do that in game times four three two one boom there we go kaboom thank you so there's the first replay against base here's the second what do we got this time healers yetis bowlers and max level heroes again so uh guys i'm going to start doing some town hall 12 base reviews and roundup soon as well and attack strategies and I've also got a Town Hall 11 base I'm working on as well. And then I think I probably might have a bit of a rest 
from doing up uh, my bases um, because, guys, doing up that town or 11, I forgot how much there is to do. There's loads. Anyway, sorry, what's going on? We've got a bowler bowling away in that corner. And now the Grand Warden's there with a balloon and the healer. So it's a Grand Warden walk over there on the top right hand side. Bit of a dangerous place to do a Grand Warden walk there. You've got the Inferno Tower scatter shot. And on the left hand corner there, now we've got a Yeti and a couple of bowls. That's the other side of the funnel. So this is looking pretty good. Can those troops help the Wall Wrecker make it all the way across the base? No, no Wall Wrecker, it's Siege Barracks. This is a surprise, guys. Because, of course, the only danger of Siege Barracks is you've got no control over where the troops go. So getting them to go through the base and take out that town on the other side is going to be really tough. Rage spell down, the Yetis are enraged. There's some Super Wall Breakers there as well. I can see them running in. Boom! They've opened up that compartment. But out come my Ice Golems, Gary Gordon and Greg the Clown Castle Defenders. Guys, they're amazing. Do try them out. Gary, Gordon and Greg. Um, you can't have those three Ice Golems. They are my Ice Golems. But of course, you can use some other Ice Golems. So out of the uh, Siege Barracks, there's some uh, Hog Riders over there. Can they take out the Scatter Shot? It's going to be close. Yes, they have. And those Yetis are doing pretty well. If the Queen can get... Is the Queen still alive? Yeah. If she can move down there now and take out the Town Hall... Then we could be in trouble, guys. And there's a jump spell there as well. So this looks a bit dangerous. The Queen is moving down now. Is she going to get within range of the Town Hall? Or has she become distracted? She has. Those ground skeletons are going to be the key between one star and three star, perhaps. The Queen's still going. But she has not used her ability. And I don't think she's going to have enough health left to take out the Town Hall. It's close. But not today. Not today. You've been infernoed. And that jump spell, just all by itself, a bit lonely there, jumping away. Jump. There we go. Just the Grand Warden left now. But the Grand Warden could take out the Town Hall with three healers. It's going to be close. Can our attacker get two stars? So what's the Grand Warden? No, the Grand Warden, no. He's uh, attacking that Elixir Collector. And those poor healers, uh, they're disappointed. And so is the Grand Warden. He has been infernoed. And there we go, guys. So a couple of replays there for you. We're going to head back now, uh, review the base, and we're going to give it a score out of 10. So uh, oh, in a moment we are. Anyway, just waiting around on this uh, end screen for a while. There we go. Back to the base. So first of all, base design. I really love the base design. I think it looks really nice. I think, um, I think there's quite a few base designs like this around at the moment, and people have sort of worked out how to take them down. I think maybe go back six months ago, if you had this base down, you'd have loads of one-star attacks or people struggling to take it down. Uh, and I think it was 24 attacks. We had five one-stars and two three-stars, which did hurt, guys. That hurt a lot. So base design, I love it. Performance was average. A couple of three-star attacks. Yes, out of 24s, not too bad, but... You don't really want to be having any three-star attacks, of course. So out of 10 today, guys, we're going to be giving this base 7 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the video comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Join the Samus Army. This is Samus signing out for now. And guys, remember, practice your funneling. It's important. See you in a bit. Take care.